Welcome back everyone. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Uh, this is the Yesu FT818 and I want to put a mechanical filter. I've already placed one for the FT857D and the YF122S filter, uh, SSB filter, and I do seem to hear a difference in quality and audio. I was been, I've been looking for one of these for this radio and um, somebody in Japan is selling it for like a hundred and three hundred dollars and somewhere on the other side of the world they're selling it for like 207 and I haven't been a I wasn't able to find one until recently when somebody at HRO told me that I can go to this place called um, in inrad I N R A D dot net and sure enough, they were there for $140. Now, uh, it came in this box here from Knoxville, Tennessee, International Radio Corp. And here it is. This is it right here. And the crazy thing is it had this sticker on it. <laughs> it said International Radio Corp. Uh, 717F 450 kilohertz on top of this and you can see that this is a Collins mechanical filter so this is perfect the although the numbers are a bit different this is a zero a zero to zero and the one that I got for uh, for the FT 857D was a zero one zero so I'm not sure what how much of a difference that will be but um, Considering that these filters are not being found anymore is incredible that we can still purchase them. Uh, apparently on the INRAD website, they're, they're thinking that they won't have any more by the end of this year. Okay, so this is the radio here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top off. Um... To put the filter in and I'm looking at the directions here because I'm going to have to unscrew these for sure okay so let's do that um, I'm kind of liking the these clips here because I can put this it was in the dark um, at first I didn't want them but I decided to put them on Okay. The only thing is when you do have these on, you can't lay it flat like this. Um, and some people use those, of course, for the strap. And I don't remember if it does come with the strap or not. I think it does. Okay, there we go. So we took the, the screws here. And if you're facing the radio this way, right? We have, uh, looks like we have a screw here. Uh huh, okay, that makes sense. We're gonna take the screw here. All right, and we need to take the screw here, right? Hopefully, that's sort of in focus, kind of. Okay, and uh, we have it here. Now these screws are, I believe, for the speaker. We won't do anything there. Apparently there's another screw here. So looking at the manual is always a good idea to tell you where those screws are. Uh, I got this um, wind camp and I don't think that will uh, disturb anything. Then I have these two screws here, right here, this one. It's fabulous how these older radios, which are 20 years old in design, how they're modular and things today are not as much. So you can see, very hard to see, but these front screws are smaller or shorter. Okay, now let's see if we can pop this out without 
ruining the radio. You gotta be careful because it does have um, it does have a wire that you gotta be very careful. Right there, see? Um, and you can just leave it like that. Most likely. Okay. So now we can see right here that that's where the filter and it says right there filter unit goes in and uh, electronics looks really nice and clean doesn't it oh look at that the isn't that the Taco what is that called um, it does have the um, I don't know what it's called there's another filter that goes in there that's already in there I think it's right here somebody decided to uh, pop it in there um, okay so we're going to take the uh, filter here you can see there are four connections here and three connections there this one has three and that one has four and I believe we put it like this there we go nice just pops in very nicely um, do not <laughs> do not um, mess up any of the pins don't force anything it just has to slide very nicely wow look at that all of this electronics um, this is fabulous it's it's a wonderful radio uh, definitely a classic now we put it back here and what I'm going to do is I can see this screw is going to take I'm going to press that a little bit and we're going to screw this one in first and not tighten it too much giving it give some wiggle room for the other screws to get in there okay all right and over here I'm not going to tighten that one either very hard to see in the video but one goes over here and I won't tighten that one as much either and I can see the the holes on this one look fine. Okay, let's do the top ones now. Take this one and pop it in here. And then take this one, pop it in there. Not fully um, not fully um, screwed on okay and then we'll take this one and we'll screw this one on it would have been a good idea to turn it on I'm pretty sure it will you could uh, turn it on And you can see it does. I guess it got. It, it can stand um, a bit. Screw that one on, and then this one. Okay. Okay. All the screws are now in place. Nothing looks, everything looks kind of even. Now we tighten all the screws out. All right, here we go. Okay, not stressing the screw too much because then it might strip, okay? Okay, now we are outside with the FT-818. I'm over here mobile 
and uh, right now the setup is that I have a speaker connected to the FT818 so I can record the audio on my field recorder and um, we'll see we'll, we'll do it a couple of times see if you can hear the difference and then we can talk a little bit what I hear and uh, maybe you can you know look at other videos and and, and, and compare um, because uh, putting this filter uh, is of course um, something to add value to the radio but it might not be sufficient for you so let's let's listen still off I'm going to turn it on in the middle of this talk right now, hold on. Did you hear that? Papa Papa wants something now. Station in the US. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. Next time it talks, I'm going to turn it off. November 7th. It's off. Wyoming. Quebec, go. Your five nine wide. Okay, no. Let's fix it again. Audio, uh, too much drive. Audio, audio, too hard. Good luck. Roger, Roger. You're clipping. Audio clipping. Wyoming is correct. Papa, 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 Some talks in the in the middle. I'm not sure if you heard that, but it is a bit brighter. Still on. Let's see the talks in the turn off. Do you hear that difference? Thank you. Five nine, Mike Tango. Thanks. Radio Lima, three America. November zero, Alpha Tango. November zero, Alpha Tango. Let's see what time it's going to turn on. Five nine, Mike November. Okay, boom and zero. Thank you. Whiskey two, Golf Delta okay. Juliet. Whiskey two, Germany. I think that's pretty good uh, example. I mean, it's not the best. Um, there's probably a better way to do audio on the FT-818, but for what it's worth, um, I think with very strong signals, I don't think it makes a, a super big difference. I think when it's a little bit noisy and the signal is weak, what it does, it, it boosts, sounds like it gives it more volume, but I'm guessing what it's doing, it's getting rid of somewhat the noise on the side of the of the audio so that it sounds a little more bright so i hope that was informative thank you very much everybody for sticking around towards the end uh please uh subscribe 
you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. This is uh, Frank Whiskey Charlie Zer Oscar. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.